Are you interested in resin 3D printing? Well, join me today as we open up the Anycubic Photon Mono X printer. See you guys inside. Hello and welcome to today's video. Today, as I said, we are opening up the Anycubic Photon Mono X. We got this printer sent to us and I am excited to try this guy out because retail price for this guy is about anywhere between seven to $900. So I am excited to give this one a try. Um, we're gonna get it out of the box. We're gonna set it up, take a look at the initial points of it. And then I'm gonna take it back into the shop and get a print done on it. Now, why the Photon Mono X? Well, honestly, the build plate on this one is larger than most of your standard Illigoo Mars Pro Mars or the Creality printers. The build plate is almost twice the size. So meaning bigger, high detailed, resin prints, which is awesome. <laughs> um, so I'm kind of excited to give it a shot. So we'll get it out of the box, which we'll switch to that here in a second. And we'll get it out of the box. We'll get it set up. We'll level it, which is the primary thing you have to do with a, with a resin printer. That first initial level will last you a long, long time if you do it right. So we'll get it leveled and we'll get some resin poured in here. Now resin that I use is the Illigoo uh, resin, the photo Pure resin. Uh, I like it a lot. I like the way it looks when it's done. After it's been clean and everything, it has a real nice finish to it that I really enjoy. I've tried other resins like Inland and a couple of the other brands, and Illigoo's resin just kind of beats the pants off everybody, in my opinion. And keyword there, it's my opinion. So before we head over and get this thing out of the box, if you like what you're seeing on this channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button on the video if you're enjoying the video. And if you have any questions about 3D printing, whether filament, resin, whatever, leave a comment down below. Um, I'd love to hear from you and help you out getting your 3D printing going. So, and of course, share the video. Um, every share helps, every subscriber helps. It allows me to keep content out for you. And there's also a link for this down in the description from this from Amazon. I am an Amazon affiliate, so that does also help me keep materials coming in and purchasing things so I can keep this channel going and keep getting new things out to you guys. So let's, let's get this thing out of the box. All right, let's have some fun. Let's get this thing out of the box. Ooh. I will tell you one thing, it is a heavy printer. So of course, protective cardboard everywhere. These are nice though, nice plastic corners. To help keep it secured. Styrofoam, yay! Kit bashing, don't throw it away. Oh my, this thing is a monster. We got it up out of the box. Oh my. If this doesn't tell you how big this is, this thing's huge. The build area is gonna be huge in this. Of course, important paperwork. Power cord. The FEP resin bay. Most important face mask and uh, resin filters. Rest of the power cord. A really nice putty knife. Now that is a surprise because usually with a lot of 3D printers you don't get very good, very nice putty knives. And this one, it's got a very nice edge, very nice. I love the wood handle. That's a very nice touch. Then rubber gloves, USB, part list. Looks like a Wi-Fi antenna. The plastic putty knife we're all used to seeing, Allen wrenches, and needed bolts. 
And then of course, your build plate. Now like I said, this is way bigger than your standard. So you can do a lot bigger prints. And I love the leveling method that they have with these bolts. That's one thing I don't like about the Ilugu Mar or Ilugu Mars Pro is there are two bolts. I like this four bolt leveling system. This makes it pretty easy to get your printer leveled and keep it level. I don't know what I'll use this for, but I'll figure something out. Then this can be handy. Here's a fort for your Warhammer Marines. You know, think out of the box on that one. Oh. And there is the machine itself. So, she's a heavy one too. But, she is beautiful. Love the look of the machine. Clean, nice, sleek. So, I'm gonna start putting this together. We'll move into that segment here in a second. I'll get the camera readjusted so you can get more view of it. But all in all, this guy's huge compared to my other printers. I'm a little worried that my cleaning station won't be able to handle the prints from this. That's something to keep in mind. So let's hop over to assembly. All right, so we've got it out on the bench. There it is with the lid. So <clears throat> she's pretty mighty inside. First thing I'm gonna do though, uh, that always feels good. But let's give her some power. That way we can get the bed on and get it leveled. Because <clears throat> with these type machines, a level bed, most important thing you can do. Once I find the power port. Ah, right next to the power button. All right. Plug it in. Let's turn it on. Love the display. That's a beautiful display. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera, but um, I love the blue. I love the colors. So I'm going to pull this guy off. Set him to the side for now. We don't need it. And we are going to go to tools. And we're going to move the Z. And we're going to move it up. Wow, it's not very noisy, which is a good thing. I've run into a couple of these that moving the Z, it was just noisy as can be. So what we're going to do is we're going to level this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen all four of these. You don't need to take them out or anything, just loosen them up. <clears throat> So you've got movement, which is what we want. We're going to back this guy off. And we're going to slip this guy right on. Now, we're not going to install this, the FTP bay yet, because we want to level. And what's cool is, use this paper to level. So we'll get that in there. We're going to pull the protective cover off. We're going to put this guy in there just enough. And we're going to hit the home button. Now we need to tighten it up. So these four bolts don't move anything, but now we can get those tight and we know our bed is right. All right, 
Now, can you move the paper? If not, go to 0.01 and lift up. Just one. So you can move that paper. Then, Z equals zero. Enter. And enter. That's going to raise the platform back up. I'm going to make sure I get this last piece of protective filament out of there. So that's rise that up. Now we're ready for this guy. Try not to touch the clear plastic. You don't want to get your fingerprints on that. It can mess up mess up your prints and always try to put the max towards the back. Get that guy in position. And then the bag of goodies here. are the two bolts that we'll want to put in to secure it to the secure it in position. We do not want this guy to move at all. Good and secured. Now we've got the antenna, which is not something I've had on the other printers. We're ready to install him right here. And then we need to do a test of the light. So we'll go back to, we'll go to detection. We'll hit next. And you see all the lights are coming on. That's what we want to see. So everything worked good. Now we're ready to do our test print. So, and what's really cool about this printer too is you can actually monitor this by an iOS app on your Wi-Fi. So I will, uh, I'll set that up and kind of tinker with that. I'm going to tinker with a few more other things, but all in all, <clears throat> of course, following all safety measures and everything that's important, she's ready to rock and roll. So I will get this back in the shop and I'll get a print done with it. We'll follow up with that. And then that's it, guys. Not a lot of hard install to do. Some patience, especially getting that bed level is the most critical thing that you'll do. All in all, this is a pretty awesome printer. I think it's pretty neat. So I'll start churning out some prints. I'm kind of excited to use it uh, just for the sheer size that I can print with is important. So if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, let us know. We will see you guys next time.